Spark TV. Metal in action. <laughs> okay. So if you can start very simple, I think. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, basically it was a kind of uh, different situation than normally because normally bands coming into my studio and asking for for the whole kind of production, but this was a cooperation of like uh, recording. Um, Citron on their own studio and I was more responsible for the mixing mastering situation so to polish the sound they wanted to have you know it's funny because when you as a German living in Slovakia and and um, people tell you a lot of friends of mine from Czech Republic uh, this is a legendary band, Citron, from, from you know, end of 70s, 80s, something like that, 90s. And I was like, wow, that's nice. So I'm, I'm really happy to be part of it, you know. I mean, I was getting slowly into this kind of band and uh, like backwards finding out what they did, you know, in the past and uh, situation with band members, with different singers. And uh, I have to say, it, it's a kind of sound which I understand because I'm, I'm, I'm also from the 70s more or less and I think um, Radim, uh, he's a bit older than me but we have the same kind of more or less background. Yeah, I think it's something special um, which I, it's not so easy as an outsider like I was in the beginning to understand. So I need a lot of discussions with Radim and the band members and uh, also Ladia, you know, and, uh, to, to hear what they really wanted. And um, they wanted to have this um, classic sound in a way, it was new sound, but classic, not, not putting them in a different direction too much, you know. And this was kind of a huge experience for me to help them as much as they want. And uh, there was a good, a lot of good communication between us. And, um, I tried to make them sounding in, in, in a certain way some months ago, which they didn't like. So I said, oh, you know, I wanted to make them sounding like, like a metal band, more or less from, from America or something. And they were, no, we want this Czech sound, which uh, we are famous for, but with more modern elements, you know, guitar, drums or whatever, uh, or the whole production thing. And uh, so I think that was kind of interesting for me. And I, now, I, now I understand them. I think he's very unique, you know, it's like uh, he has um, many idols which I know I like Judas Priest, like Rob Halford or Halloween stuff, you know, it's very similar, similar. and uh, he has of course very, very unique style, I mean very powerful, I would say tenor voice mm -hmm. and with his high, high singing on, on, on the top is something extra which you're not hearing so much, you know, it's like a special thing. I mean, it's not like Mikey Kiske. Mikey Kiske has this mm. kind of smooth getting up till the end, but Ladia has this more screaming high voice, and uh, which I think people love it here so much. It's kind of connection between Citron and uh, him is, for me, it sounds, sounds great, you know. Oh yeah, I heard this Radagast story a lot. A lot. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't hear about it before. But of course, uh, Radim told me a lot of stories. Uh, I think it was uh, nearly one year ago when we met uh, in Ostrava on his studio. He invited me after, um, I think it was shortly, one or the, some days before Christmas. And so it's nearly one year ago. So, and uh, at that point we talked about it already. I said, what is Radegast? I don't even know what it is. So now, of course, now I know it, you know. Also, there's a beer company, of course, like that. <laughs> and uh, so it's very, it's very deep kind of uh, story from, from Citron, yeah. I know that now. Spark TV. Metal in action.